Hello all, welcome to eDraw Max. In this video, we will learn about different marketing diagrams that you should know. Before that, let's understand how diagrams help you in marketing your ideas. In order to sell your ideas or to better understand customers, diagrams play a key role. It's said that the human brain processes visual information much faster than information in other forms. Everyone in this world wants something concise that will deliver the information they need quickly. These diagrams can be used to conduct a SWOT analysis, compare and contrast options with a Venn diagram, or define a company's sales funnel. Also, diagrams can help customers make crucial decisions. Now let's look at the different marketing diagrams available in eDraw Max. Let's begin with a matrix diagram. A matrix diagram is a management tool that is used to analyze and determine the relationship between data sets. Some of the applications of a matrix diagram are establishing the root cause of a problem, compare potential solutions, identifying growth opportunities, and analyzing how well requirements have been met, etc. A second type of diagram is a comparison chart. A comparison chart provides a visual representation of various options that can be compared to each other. Some of the advantages of comparison charts are they're easy to make, they can compare all kinds of entities, and there's no limit to the number of things to compare or their parameters, etc. A third diagram is a customer journey map. This is a visual representation of the process that a customer or prospect will go through to achieve a target for your business. Here are a few benefits of this type of diagram. You can create a new target customer base, you can improve your customer retention rate, and you can create a customer-focused mentality throughout your company, etc. A fourth diagram type is a funnel chart. Funnel charts are often used to represent different stages in a sales or marketing process and show the amount of sales revenue or customers for each stage. Funnel charts are most often seen in business or sales contexts, where we need to track how a starting set of visitors or users drop out of a process or flow. This chart type shows how the starting whole breaks down into progressive parts. A fifth diagram type is a puzzle chart. A puzzle chart is a great option to visualize interlocking processes or elements as a means of making sense of a part-to-whole relationship. Every jigsaw piece has a proper position and specific connections, helping to achieve a bigger and more complex picture of a process or structures of your business. A sixth type is a pyramid diagram. This diagram is in the form of a triangle with different sections representing different values. Pyramid charts work best when data needs to be presented hierarchically. Uses of pyramid charts are, they exhibit a fine picture of the vital steps of a process, they sufficiently display funnel activities, and they portray the structure of an organization in a simple manner, etc. A seventh diagram type is a sales diagram. This is a column chart showing how sales vary within a specific time frame. The products are presented on one axis and the total sales are presented on the other. There are many different versions that include different dimensions such as months or regions. And the last diagram type is a target diagram. A target diagram is a convenient and popular way of visually presenting information. It's popular and widely used in marketing, business, and economics. It displays progress towards a goal. Each layer moves closer towards the center result. It's a bit like a flowchart which moves from the outside to the center. Each layer can also be divided into subcategories. You can find more marketing diagram templates in the link provided in the description. Thanks for watching and happy diagramming.